we are learning about the input property and we are using this input property to pass some data from a parent component to the child component. In the previous video, we have created few examples where we were passing some data from parent to child and we are using that data as it is in the child component. Now let's assume that we are having a situation where we need to modify that data in the child component before using it. Let's understand how can we handle this situation. This is the bookstore application that we are working on and this application is running on the localhost 4200 port and here is the browser it is working fine. We are at the home page. On the home page if I am passing some data from this parent to child so I am passing 8 it is visible 8. Now let's say I want to apply a logic in the child component like if I am passing 8 from this particular parent component then it should be visible over here with one additional value. So if I am passing 1 then it should be visible as 2. If it is 2 then it must be 3 over here. Let's understand how to handle this situation. Here we are in the shared folder and this is the authors. So as of now let's just remove this so authors. We don't need it like this. The first approach is that I can simply write plus 1 over here. This will work fine but what will happen if I am using this data again let's say here like this then over here it will display the original value I want to make the change in this original data object how can we do that let's test this one first so here I'm passing one it is visible three over here and two over here so this is working fine but I want to make the change in this object directly without doing anything in the parent component to handle the situation we have to work with the getter and setter properties so over here first I have to make a private member data and let's give it some other name here I have to define a getter and setter so first let's use the get and here I will return this data like this and this set and here I'm passing value the value is in form of number now here I can set the value so this dot data is equals to value now I want to make some changes in this data object I can do all of those things over here so let's say here I'm writing plus plus value just save all the changes and from this place let's just remove this plus one as well like this save the changes so the problem is that over here we are assigning the data to the wrong property so here we have to use this private field we will assign the data to this local field we will also get it from this local field save all the changes and again go back to the browser the error is gone we are having the data so if we are passing 0 from this parent we are getting it 1 let's increase the value it is 2 but here it is visible as 3 and here you can see we are modifying this data if you will try to use this data at some other places like this then again it will be visible as an incremented value so here also it is 1 and here as well it is 1 you can see no matter how many times I want to use this object on this space I will always get the modified value that we have done over here now let's try this example on the book as well so here is the books module and this is the book component this is the all books component and this is the books card if I go to the all books let's close this developer tool here you can see we are having this title let's say I want to append a title text before this name one approach is when I'm passing the data from parent to child, I have to modify it in the parent component and then pass it to the child component. But if I will do that, then I have to make change at two places. First is the old books and second is the recent books. The better is that I can make the changes in the child component and this is the book card. Over here, let's quickly write the get and set method. We have written this code so as of now it should work as it was working earlier let's verify this one also so here again you can see the old box is working fine if i go to this recent books it is also working fine now let's modify its data so before setting this value i want to apply some changes here i can make the changes in this books object because this is what we are getting in the input so here i'm writing books 
dot i will be using the map method and in the map method i can use this title is equals to i can set its value basically title save all the changes go back to the browser this time here you will see that we are having this title text before the actual title and this is the recent page if i go to the all books page this is also working fine here we are having this text if you are getting some data in the input property and you want to modify it before using it then you can always use the get and set feature provided by typescript